Hi guys, so um, I thought I would film a haul but a little bit differently. I thought I'd actually wear the things that I bought and do a little kind of lookbook with them because I feel quite inspired and um, yeah, and some of the things you've seen before, but again I will mention the things that are new and um, that you might not have seen before. So um, I will list my makeup in the down bar, I will list my nail polish and um, also everything that I wear in the video I will try to list or link down below. I'm going to try and really be good with that, I promise. So um, I hope you guys will enjoy the video. So these things are quite spring related. If I want to, I'll add a jacket. And I film these videos as I go along, so I don't actually plan the outfit. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to add a coat or not at this point in time. Jewelry is, uh, most of it is from Fashionology, so these rings and this bracelet and my watch is from Urban Outfitters and it's a Casio and I wear it all the time. My tank top is from Topshop, I bought this again, um, I bought this a little while ago but I did show it in my other video so it's kind of new but not really new technically, not in the videos, but they're about £6 or 2 for £10 and I love it. This is in a size 12 just because um, it does kind of gape a little bit where my bra is but um, I don't really want them to be really really tight. My cardigan is from Topshop, I bought this so long ago but I simply love the colour and it kind of, I whip this out every time. bag is from Topshop. And then the item that I'm actually featuring is this maxi skirt. Now you all know I'm a fan of maxi skirts and I know they're quite um, like a Marmite um, item but I've been looking for the perfect printed maxi skirt that I can still interchange in my wardrobe because I think sometimes with prints it's quite difficult to do that because once you've seen something or once someone's seen something it's hard to recreate things with it. Also, if you hear children in the background, my cousins are here, so um, they're quite young and they might be making loads of noise. This one's actually from Urban Outfitters and it was quite expensive, but I just love the print on it. And it's this kind of aztec -y print. Um, I'll come closer and show you guys, but I love the look of it and it's really flowy and airy. And my shoes are actually little sandals that I bought from um, Urban Outfitters as well. They just look like this. I've still got the tag on them because I haven't worn them out as yet. But um, I have some similar ones from Topshop, but... I think the leather on this is a little bit softer and I also just love the the weaving on it and um, they were £32 which is quite pricey but I will wear this, but I will wear these to death and um, yeah I, they have them in loads of different colours as well, I will try and link them down below. This is another item that I bought and I absolutely love it and it's this little stripy top from American Apparel and it is just basically the simplest little stripy top with a little and pocket. It's a one size fits all, so um, there wasn't any sizing with this. I fell in love with it and I know I will wear this so much and I can regurgitate this with any outfit, whether it be jeans or what I'm about to show you now, which is what I was wearing in the other outfit. Um, I know not lots of people like to clash prints, but personally I love it. I think it. it works really well with the skirt. So I'm wearing the same skirt from the other outfit, the um, printed maxi. And the same bag, I think it works really well because the colours are really similar and um, you could even add a pop of colour. This is from Fashionology, a gorgeous pendant necklace, like that could add a little bit of colour. I just like everything to be really simple, um, but this is beautiful and I think that would look really nice. If you like um, to add jewellery, I love turquoise. Now I live in London, so um, if I did wear this I'd probably bring a jacket of some sort with me. This is from Dorothy Perkins. So um, yeah, I really really like that kind of toughness that the biker jacket adds to the outfit. And um, yeah, I just personally really like this look. This is very me and um, yeah, it's definitely something I'm going to be wearing in spring. So this shirt has to make an appearance in pretty much all of my um, videos or like outfit videos but it really is one of my most staple things in my wardrobe. If you don't have a denim shirt that you love, definitely invest in one. I don't even think this was very expensive, it's actually my sister's. Um, I think it was probably like £25 or so. But um, at Urban Outfitters, Topshop, even Primark probably do the same jewellery because I'm a creature of habit, same watch and everything and the... The shirt is from BDG at Urban Outfitters, if I didn't say, and then the skirt is actually new, and this is also from Urban Outfitters. I love midi skirts, as some of you guys will obviously know, and um, I loved the print of this one. Um, I love anything with a kind of tribal print on it and still. I'm wearing my Superga um, flat forms, which um, I pretty much wear all the time, and this is what the plimsolls would look like. And again, this is a perfect outfit for uni days, um, or like spring days. If you hear kids shouting, they're all outside playing. You could even undo the shirt and wear like a white tank underneath. 
um, but I just thought I would button it all up and I thought because the bottom is so tight I would have something quite loose on the top. You guys are probably going to see a pattern here, I'm loving patterns at the moment and um, yeah I'm going to show you guys some things that are new. So the jacket that I'm wearing is a little parka and it's from Urban Outfitters and then I bought this t-shirt from eBay and it's just a homies t-shirt and um, they actually do this in Urban Outfitters for like £30 and when I went to the shop I was going to get it but then I was like how much do I want to bet that I can get it for the third of the price in um, on eBay and I did so if I find the seller again I will put it in the down bar this is a size medium I could have done with a small it's actually really large but I've tucked it in and I love it I love anything with like a funny and print. then my printed trousers are from H&M and as soon as I saw these I was like I need these because um, they're actually a really lovely kind of material I can't really explain them but um, they're very lightweight and I can imagine that even if I went away in the summer which I'm not sure if I'm doing um, I could wear these on the beach or in the evenings and things and I love the print of them so clutch is from Urban Outfitters as well I know I'm wearing silver jewellery still but um, I don't really mind the clashing of the metals so that's what that would all look like together and for shoes because there is so much going on I'm still wearing my tan um, little plimsolls from Urban Outfitters this is probably one of my complete favourite things that I bought and um, I was actually really lucky to find it because I found it in the sales section at Urban Outfitters in Westfield and they have this little room and they normally pile all their sale things and as soon as I saw this I nearly screamed and I tried it on and I completely fell in love with it um, because I think it was originally £48 on the website and I got it for I think £25 and I am obsessed with anything with a cutout detail um, like completely and it's just one of those things, I'm not sure why, I just think cutouts are really sexy but in a really subdued way um, or not even necessarily sexy but they just have this edge and um, I personally just love anything with a cutout detail so um, this top is, or this shirt is actually from Urban Outfitters and as you can see it has a cutout on the on the shoulder and I actually really love the print of it um, it doesn't have any offensive buttons which I'm really fussy about and um, it's a lovely kind of material as well, it's not too warm, it's kind of like a flannelly kind of material, fleecy material and um, I just completely love I personally roll up the sleeves and to add to the cutouts because I'm like I said obsessed I actually bought my Topshop jeans with the split knee in, um, I bought them in a blue indigo colour and you can hardly tell the fact that they're blue actually now that I look you can, you can tell um, but I don't know if you can tell on camera but I wear my black ones so much that I just thought I have to buy the blue indigo version and um, this is what the outfit looks like so um, really casual I have worn this to uni before or something like it but with black jeans and um, personally just think it's really comfortable and you could also I'm not stripping for you I promise so undo the shirt and wear like a grey tank and um, I personally really like that as well and this just gives you another um, another option really and um, I think that gives it kind of like an even more casual vibe so um, yeah I love my cutouts, I love my, my rips and um, I love my, my vans as well and lastly but by no means least I bought this cardigan and I haven't really styled this up too much because I would pretty much just wear it like this anyway um, or on top of other things and um, it's from Urban Outfitters and um, I just fell in love with the kind of material and it's this kind of grainy um, see-through grey and white material and it's textured and um, it's got this kind of waterfall and what it actually reminded me of was the American Apparel really 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 long um, cardigan which I actually have and never wear because I think I look like I'm wearing a towel around me and my friend saw it on me and she said the exact same thing but this is kind of the same effect but in a more subdued manner because as you can see um, I got it in a size large and it still kind of covers my bum but um, it's by no means like as long as that cardigan. It has the same sort of Scandinavian vibe to it I feel like. Um, I don't know, I, th I just feel like it has but um, in a very subdued way and you could wear this with like a grey tank underneath, a black tank. I just love the contrast of the grey and the white. Yeah, and I'm still wearing my Vans so um, you could even dress this up and wear like little boots with it or I don't know, your options are endless with cardigans, but um, I think it was quite expensive, but 
I know I will wear this a ton. So that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this style. I'm probably still going to do sit down hauls because um, I personally really enjoy doing them and sometimes I can't style stuff as much as I have now. Um, but if you guys like this kind of idea then I will try and do it because I bought quite a lot of bottoms so I thought it was quite easy to style everything up. And then also you can see the things on me. References and stuff I will try and list down below as well what sizes I bought and everything. I'm a size 8 to 12. Um, my jeans um, currently I'm wearing a size 8 and my tops I buy normally like in 12s and 10s because I like everything to be quite I'll see you guys all soon. I'm revising so I'm going to try and fit in as many videos as I can but if they're not as frequent please excuse me for the next month or so and good luck to everyone else who's got exams and I will see you all very soon. Love you lots. Bye! And let me know what your favourite outfit is down below so see you guys. Bye!